Hi, my name is Diana. I'm a public health inspector with Region of Waterloo. Public Health conducts routine inspections of facilities that offer personal services such as hairdressing, manicures, pedicures, and waxing to ensure that proper infection prevention practices are being followed. Our goal is to prevent clients and the service provider from acquiring bloodborne infections such as hepatitis B or hepatitis C, or acquiring bacterial infections such as nail fungus. Today I'll be showing you a number of things to keep in mind when you visit a beauty and body art salon. So let's start with hairdressing. The hairdressing station should always be clean and tidy. Drawers, brushes, combs, and scissors should not be full of hair. Instruments such as scissors should be in good condition and not rusted. Barbicide is one of the most commonly used disinfectants for combs and brushes. Towels and capes should be kept clean and organized. Soiled linens should be separated from clean linens to prevent contamination. After the service, combs, brushes, hair clippers, and scissors used on the hair must be washed with detergent and water and then disinfected. Let's move on to another popular beauty service, nail treatment. Before starting your nail treatment, the service provider will check your skin for cuts and signs of infections such as nail fungus. Mold and fungus infections cause the nail to become green to a yellow color. Your service provider should not continue your service if there is an infection to prevent the fungus from being passed along to another customer or themselves. As a general rule, the manicure station should be clean and organized. Stainless steel instruments such as nail clippers, steel files, or cuticle nippers should be cleaned, disinfected, and stored safely in the covered area. Non-durable materials such as buffers, emery boards, and wooden cuticle pushers must be single-use because these materials will not withstand the cleaning and disinfecting process. Single-use instruments should be discarded after use on a client. Paraffin wax may be part of your manicure or pedicure. The wax must first be dispensed into a plastic disposable bag. You should then place a hand or foot into the bag. Hands or feet should not be dipped into the original container of wax. This will prevent contamination of all the paraffin wax. Foot spas are frequently used at beauty salons for clients' comfort during a pedicure service. Let's look at what you should look for. Let's move on to the pedicure station. All surfaces and areas should be clean and tidy. The foot basin should be free of any residue buildup. Pedicure instruments such as cuticle pushers and nail clippers should be cleaned and disinfected between clients and then stored in a clean covered area such as a clean instrument container. Non-durable materials such as foam slippers, toe separators, foot sanders, or buffers are single-use. Credo blades are used to remove calluses on the feet. They're single-use instruments and must be disposed of in a biohazardous waste container. A stainless steel foot paddle can be cleaned and disinfected between clients. However, a wooden foot paddle is a single-use instrument since the wooden gritty surface can become porous and allow disease-causing agents to grow. During a waxing service, a clean towel or white paper cover should be on the chair or bed. The towel and or paper should be provided new for each service. The wax pot should be clean and covered to prevent contamination. Prior to the service starting, the service provider will wash your hands and examine your skin for cuts or signs of infection. As a good standard of practice, the service provider should not perform a service on an infected area. During the service, applicator sticks should only be dipped into the wax container once to reduce the spread of infection. Single-use instruments such as wooden applicator sticks, wax strips, and wax roller cartridges should be disposed after every client. Lances, which are sometimes used to remove ingrown hair, should be disposed of in a biohazardous waste container. All instruments must be clean and disinfected after each service. There are different levels of disinfectants depending on how an instrument is used. Surfaces such as combs and brushes require a low-level disinfectant. Tweezers and nail clippers require an intermediate level disinfectant. If an instrument comes into contact with bodily fluids, a higher level of disinfectant must be used. All sharps must be single-use and disposed of in biohazardous containers. If an accidental blood exposure such as a cut occurs, the service provider will apply medication or coverage to try and stop the bleeding. This should be a single-service application. The service provider must keep a record of the accidental blood exposure in their logbook. Hopefully this overview has provided you with helpful information about what to look for when you visit a beauty and body art salon. For more information, please check the beauty and body arts section of our website or call public health and ask to speak with a public health inspector. For inspection results, please visit our Check It We Inspected website. Thank you.